You mentioned before about tax exemptions. Mm -hmm. I want to ask all three people on this uh, panel, is it an issue that you, uh, I don't know if you would uh, agree with the phrasing, but did you get caught double dipping on property tax <laughs> exemptions with your condo in Boston and your home in Housatonic? You first said that you violated no law and said you did nothing wrong, and then the, the story kept continuing, and then you paid Boston, City of Boston, some $6,000 or so. Essentially, it sounds like it, admitting that you made a mistake. Is this an issue in this race it, as it pertains to your ethics and your accountability of taxpayer dollars? Well, to be honest, it is an issue in this race, and I understand I understand the, the questions that have been raised. Did you make a I'm, mistake? I'll, I'm going to let you conclude that. I am a resident of Great Barrington along with my husband. Um, oh, no. we can pay, we, can no, you just but, answer the question, did you make a mistake? You, uh, we didn't apply for anything that we didn't to Boston, think that your we property were, tax. We did not apply for anything that we were not qualified for at the time. Boston changed. Then why did you pay Boston six thousand dollars? Because they changed. They changed its standard. Their standards in two thousand nine, unbeknownst to us, um, they didn't ask us to pay back the benefit that we had received prior to that. So they, but we did so. You're basically saying you weren't grandfathered. No, it, it's it's. I, I wish it were. I wish it were simpler. We're residents here. In Boston, has two tax rates, and we pay full property tax. Um, uh, real estate property taxes in in, uh, in Great Barrington. Boston has two different tax rates. Um, we applied for and qualified for taxation on our condo at the Boston residence rate. Questions were raised by the paper. I was verbally informed that we were okay. Questions persisted. I wrote to the city of Boston and they informed us <coughs> that while we were approved in 2007, in 2009, the standards changed, and so we were no longer qualified for the rate in Boston that we were paying. So now we are paying at a higher rate, um, and it was a, a thoroughly innocent and honest um, uh, mistake, if you will, on our part of the situation that we got find ourselves that, in. Is this an issue in this campaign or not? Well, of course it is. I mean, I, and I think. It's not neuroscience, let alone rocket science, to think that if you own two homes, only one of them can be the one that you claim to be your primary residence. And so uh, it could be that she just misunderstood the forms, but I, that's not very good indication of, I don't know, I'm, it's very hard to be a can when your mother has raised you to say, you know, if you can't say something nice, don't say anything. <laughs> And so I'm, I'm just happy to let Suzanne continue to try to explain this. 